The following has been developed by state and provincial agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education. Good, they might be. Then maybe we ought to make some for Chinetta, too. The doctor says she can't go back to school until next Monday. Oh. How many cookies does this recipe make? Three dozen. Thirty-six cookies. That doesn't sound like enough. Especially if Daddy starts eating them. Then we better put some away before he gets home. It's 5.10. I've got to get to the dress shop before it closes. Does that look like enough flour to you? A little goes a long way, Pumpkin. Just follow the recipe and you'll be fine. Do I have to wait for you to get back to bake them? No, but I won't be gone long. Bye. Be good. look like enough. I better add more. Contents. 20 cups. I might as well use it all. That's more like it. Wait a minute. If I use 20 cups of flour, how many cups of sugar do I need? And how many eggs? Let's see now. I have 20 cups of flour instead of two. That's 10 times as much flour. So it must be 10 times as much of everything else, too. Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Now I'm sure to have enough cookies. Wait till Mom sees what I've done. Took so long. Come see my new dress. In here. Kaylin, my goodness! I think I used a little too much flour. Kaylin, how much flour did you use? Where's the recipe card? Honestly, Kaylin. I was afraid Daddy would eat too many. Kaylin, did you stop to think what happens when you add a zero after each number on this recipe? I made the recipe ten times bigger. You sure did. Did you stop to think what that means? Well, I guess we should be just thankful that you didn't add two zeros on the recipe. Want a cookie? Thank you. Mmm, they're delicious. Life used to be very simple in Numberville. When every number kept itself to itself. 
and knew exactly what it stood for. Nine stood for nine things. Eight stood for eight things. And so on. Every number led a nice, quiet, separate existence. Until zero came to town. Don't you guys have any ambition? What do you mean? Well, you're all stuck in the ones column. There's no future in that. What's the ones column? You can think of the world of numbers as being divided into columns. Each column indicates a different place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. You guys are all here. When you're in this column, your place value is nine ones. Yours is eight ones and so on. But as soon as I stand beside any of you, I bump you into the tens column. You now have a place value of nine tens instead of nine ones. You stand not for nine things, but for 90 things. And the same happens when I put myself beside any of you other numbers. Now look what happens if two of me stand beside you. You have a place value of nine hundreds. And three of me can boost your place value up to nine thousands, etc., etc. Since I'm so good at changing your place values, you better make me sheriff, don't you think? At first, the numbers enjoyed having their place values changed as they were moved from column to column by zero. But soon they began to resent it. For the very first time in their lives, they decided to get together to have a showdown with their bossy new sheriff. And that, of course, was the solution to their problem. Because as soon as any number stood beside any other number, the number on the right was able to bump his neighbor into the tens column. Two numbers could bump a third into the hundreds column and three numbers could bump a fourth into the thousands column. In fact, when it came to changing each other's place value, each of the numbers was just as good at it as zero was. Too gooey, sweet, not too sweet. I like them. Have another. I have a lot more. Hey, girl, don't let it get you down. So you made a mistake. It won't happen again. I hope not. It's gonna take me months to pay mom back for all the flour and sugar I used. You know, these are so good. I bet we could sell them and people would buy them. In fact, you really think people would buy these cookies? I know so. How much do you think people would pay for them? Gosh, we've got 360 cookies. But if each person pays 25 cents, then we'd have more than enough to pay Mom back and have some extra. And you know, we could buy that record I've always wanted to buy. I could get batteries for my new radio. We could go to Disneyland and buy a stuffed animal. All it needs a little advertising. Janetta! Make about 12 copies. Okay. I'll put them up at lunch. See you at lunch? Sure. Would you make some copies of this for me, please? Oh, you're having a bake sale. How nice. Oh, you do know that these copies are two cents a piece. And I suppose that you would like to have it right away. Yes, please. How many copies do you want, Kayla? Janetta told me to make 12 copies. 
Well, it should be there. But first, we have to set the copy counter. 12 copies. Now, we insert the original onto the glass, then we close the cover, and we're all set to go. Now, all you have to do is to push the green button to make your copies. Are you Mrs. Hirsch? Yes, I am. Oh, well, I'm Billy Martin's mother, and I'm sorry to disturb you, but I'm in, I'm really in a hurry, and I need to schedule an appointment with the principal for next week. Okay. I'll be back in a minute, Kayla. Oh, yes, Mrs. Hirsch. Will 12 copies be enough? Maybe I'd better add some more. Six ought to do it. Now, where's that start button again? It's a good thing you realized what was happening and called me, Kayla. That's quick thinking indeed. $21.75. Wow! With those extra posters you made, we've got more publicity than we can handle. Now, Mom. Five, six, seven, eight, and fifty cents. Sorry I made such a mess, Mom. Here's the money I owe you. You keep it, Kaylin. Put it in your savings account. Now, I certainly hope you've learned something from all this. I sure did. There's a big difference between 3 and 360 and the 3 and 36. Good, Kaylin. By the way, Mom. Yes? How about adding a couple of numbers to the right of my allowance? It figures, a component of the Skills Essential to Learning project. Was produced by KLCS Los Angeles. Under the supervision of the Agency for Instructional Television.